Thank you. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Dr. Rina Gupta. Good morning, everyone. So my talk is on the motor outcomes of three muscle surgery for large angle strabismus. Large angle strabismus has been defined by most of the investigators as an angle of deviation which ranges from 40 to 90 present diopters. At present, there is no common consensus on how many muscles to operate. But the aim of the surgical management is to achieve a satisfactory motor alignment in the primary position without inducing lateral incompetence. So we did a pilot study at PJMS Rothak with the purpose of the study was to evaluate the alignment, the motility, the binocularity and the cosmetic outcomes of free muscle surgery. Uh, the patients, uh, the medical records of the patients who had committant uh, isotropia or exotropia and angle of deviation was more than 50 present diopters and they underwent three muscle surgery in the last one year, they were retrospectively reviewed. And patients who had minimum of six, follow, uh, six months follow up, they were included. Whereas cases with amblyopia, paralytic or restrictive squint were excluded. The motor alignment and sensory examination was uh, done with patients wearing the optical corrections. And the ocular deviation was measured pre and post operatively by prism bar cover test for near and distance in all cardinal positions of gaze. And the lateral incompetence was measured in prism diopters by noting the difference in the angle of deviation in the lateral gazes. And the surgical procedure which we did was bilateral LR resection with MR resection for exotropia and vice versa for isotropia. Important thing was the dosage. We divided the amount of surgery to be done depending upon the angle of deviation in the three muscles with the same dose of resection which was done for same muscle in each eye. Uh, the follow-ups were noted at six weeks and six months. The, we defined the successful surgical outcome as binocularity restoration, orthotropia or deviation within 10 uh, present diopters, uh, no limitation of ocular motility as well as cosmetic correction. Undercorrection was defined as residual deviation which was more than 10 present diopters and overcorrection as consecutive more than 10 present diopters. So we had total 16 patients, four patients at esotropia and 12 patients at exotropia. Age of presentation was from five to 33 years. Myopia was seen in 27.78% of the patients and hypermetropia in 16.67% of the patients. We had very successful motor outcomes of the 50% at six months of fin final follow-up. And consecutive deviation was seen in 6.25% of the patients, whereas residual deviation was seen in 43.75% of the patients with the range from 10 to 35 present diopters. There was no limitation of ocular motility. Uh, the dose response effect which we obtained was, uh, uh, the accumulated response was around 3.80 present diopters per millimeter for uh, isotropia and 3.70 for exotropia. So uh, in most of the studies on three muscle surgery, they have uh, uh, claimed very successful outcomes of 70 to 80%. We obtained only 50%. The reason was that the group of patients which was included had constant exotropia more in our study as compared to other studies where they've included intermittent exotropia patients as well. And that gives it, uh, the reason for not much improvement in the binocularity in our patients, whereas this alignment was quite stable even after six months. And similar to other studies, abduction deficits were seen in minority of the patients. That also improved over time. Very successful cosmetic corrections up to 75% of the patients since with no significant lead pressure changes. And the dose response which we get was 20% less than what we get in two muscle surgery usually. It's a retrospective study. It has a small sample size, short follow-up, and no comparative study. So I conclude that simultaneous surgery in three muscles is a very effective way of treating large angle strabismus with successful outcomes and uh, not inducing any lateral incompetence and good uh, cosmetics uh, satisfaction on the part of the patient. Thank you. Dr. Reena, a nice presentation. However, uh, if you had a pre and post uh, operation uh, pictures, if you had added, that would have uh, given more credibility. Secondly, the, as you have stated, sample size is too low to uh, give this statement because others have done a very I mean, large uh, yes. number of studies. Yes, sir. I think it's a pilot study which we started one year back. So patients actually with getting a patient's over 50 prism diopters when you include and committant uh, uh, strabismus. So uh, we could come across 16 patients only and uh, the agenda was follow-up also because when we included a follow-up six months, the number of the patients went down. So, so what is the uh, cutoff uh, amount of deviation where you uh, go on to uh, three muscle surgery? Yes, uh, now uh, for uh, if we talk about exotropia, so the recession I usually don't uh, do above 9.5 millimeter for LR because uh, what I have seen that over and moreover the resection which we add. No, my so question is pre-op deviation. At what? Uh, okay. 
yeah, up to 50 present diopters. So if I get 55 present diopters or 60, I go for three muscles now. Below 50, you do two yes, muscles? Yes, two muscles below 50. Mm -hmm. And above 50, usually above around 60 present diopters, we go for three muscles. Can you advise anything to the patient for the abduction deficit he gets? Uh, actually, uh, what I have seen over time that uh, after two muscle surgery, the abduction deficits are much more as compared to three muscle surgery. Because in three muscle surgery, you have three muscles. So usually, we can limit our recessions or resections. Right. So usually, abduction deficits, we didn't... No, why three abduction. muscles? Why not four? <laughs> that's, uh, that's a good question. Actually, uh, four look. muscles... Uh, so what I feel is that uh, when you have uh, uh, an, uh, one spare muscle in hand, it's sometimes strabismus is very, uh, you know... No, no, I, I went... Is this a po point in arms or for this? I Consecutive can occur. No, no, no. The simple set is that you divide all in four um, surgical doses, four muscles. Symmetry is there. If you are doing asymmetry surgery in both eyes, then your uh, late aperture will be difficult. So at the end of the day, this is the like cosmetic surgery also. Yeah. So in case of one muscle doing that, even try to do a symmetrical surgeries. Yeah. That's but that, uh, that, that, that is the reason the uh, resection and resection uh, Recession and recession people are not doing. They are doing either both symmetrical. Okay, so that yeah. is the reason. Okay. Thank you. So the surgeon shows what he or she like. Okay, so. Uh,